Hi Anya, um, this is just another way that we measure knee tenderness. Uh, it's the mechanical measurement of knee tenderness, so it's unlike our taste panel, but it correlates very well with the taste panel. Uh, it's called the Warner Bratzler Shear Force, and um, we basically have a shearing device, and if you feel it, you can feel that it's blunt, so it doesn't actually cut the meat. We then mount it onto the machine, and there's a load cell which brings it down at a particular speed, and then it measures the force required to shear through the meat. The, the force it measures it in is in kilograms and um, it's done to an international standard so we can compare it to international levels of tenderness. Uh, four is basically an acceptable level for consumers, below that and around two is very good and then when you start getting five and above uh, the meat is tough. So these are our samples that we're going to use to measure shear force and I just want to show you how we prepare them. When we cut a piece of the meat off you can see how the grain of the meat runs along like that and we have to core parallel with that so that once the cores come out the grain of the meat is running parallel with the core and then it gets sheared perpendicular to that core so it's very important otherwise we don't get the correct reading basically. So we, we just look and we line up our core and the corer has got a sharp tip so it cuts through. You can see the fibers run parallel and uh, we usually do six of these cores across the whole surface of the steak because uh, sometimes there can be variation and what we then do is work out the average of the cores to get a, a tenderness reading. So now we've prepped the samples and uh, we put them into the machine and the shear device will shear them perpendicular to the grain uh, to give us the same sort of action that your incisors give you when you bite through the meat and that will be measured by the computer in kilograms each time we do a sample, we put the sample number into the computer, we do the six cores, and then we end the sample, and the computer works out the average of those six cores to give us a tenderness score for that uh, sample. So Anya, these are the results of your first sample, and it's of the unaged sample, and you can see the six peaks of the six cores that were measured. And at the bottom here, they've given us the value in kilograms and you can see it varies across the steak but not by very much and you'll be very happy to know that everything looks more or less above almost below three and a half most of them but all of them below four and by international standards four is acceptable to almost all consumers as being tender enough. Right Anya these are the results of your 14-day uh, age sample and as you can see they're all in the low twos it's almost a full kilogram better than your unaged sample and uh, this overall value is very good and will be accepted worldwide. Thank you. <laughs>